our very own colleague Shayna Crockmall uh, spoke to Hunger Games star uh, Josh Hutcherson, and she did so for Out Magazine because he has been an advocate for gay rights. And it was really fascinating because he talked about his own sexuality and how he considers himself straight, but he doesn't think it's that far-fetched that maybe sometime in the future he might be attracted to men. In fact, let me give you his exact quote. He said, I would probably list myself as mostly straight. Maybe I could say right now I'm 100% straight, but who knows, in a fucking year, I could meet a guy and be like, whoa, I'm attracted to this person. It's such a bold uh, quote. I, I love it. You know, Shayna worked with us at Current. We did a lot of panels together. We did a lot of work together. She's great. I love that she got this interview. And this is what we thought um, the, uh, Bane had said. Uh, Tom Hardy, the guy who played Bane in, in Batman. It would be funny if Bane said it in the movie. <laughs> I believe I'm 100% straight, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and I had given Tom Hardy a world of credit then uh, at the time, but he kind of walked it back. Uh, but here he said, "Look, man, I, I'm mostly like when anytime somebody says mostly straight, I know a lot of dudes go really mostly straight, mm -hmm. right? But in this case, I totally believe him. Now, the second part of that quote, I thought, well, I had misread it at first. So let me read you the quote. Right? Uh, I've met guys all the time that I'm like, damn, that's a good-looking guy, you know." And uh, I've never been like, oh, I want to kiss that guy. I really love women, but I think defining yourself as 100% anything is kind of nearsighted and closed-minded. Now, when I first read it, I thought he said, well, I'm, I might think, oh, I'd like to kiss that guy. And then I thought, I don't know about mostly straight, okay? Because to me, for whatever reason, maybe because that just comes from my perspective of being straight, kissing a guy seems like... It's, it's like a scene out of The Sopranos, like when they talk about, like, oh, well, if you're given, whatever, right? Yeah. But, like, kissing, whoa, that's a big deal. So, in this case, no, he's saying, like, no, I've never thought about kissing a guy, but there's nothing wrong with it, and maybe I will, because some guys are hot, right? So, then I think, no, he actually is straight, right? Yeah. Mostly straight, as he says. I totally believe him, but he's keeping an open mind, which is awesome. It's it awesome that we've gotten to a place where... Being gay is not stigmatized to the point, and he's trying to help it, uh, us get to that place, to the point where you can say, yeah, m even though I'm not, I might be, so what? You know, I might in the future, who knows? Yeah, I think I think what I like about that so much is because, it, it's because of the fact that he goes against um, this double standard that you see among lesbians and, and gay guys, right? So for straight women, I'm a straight woman, okay, I consider myself 100% straight, and I'm 100% confident in my sexuality. The reason why I say that is because I have no problem pointing to a woman that I think is attractive and saying, damn, she is hot, she is beautiful, whatever, but I never feel the need to like want to kiss her or the urge to touch her or anything anything like that. Right? Not even Kate Winslet? <laughs> oh, Kate Winslet's a little different. <laughs> <Okay>. Well, <laughs> oh, 100% no. okay. sounds like, like a high number. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no. I'm, kid I'm kidding about Kate Winslet. But, but I, think, I think he falls under that category, but unfortunately guys don't get the same protection that women do when they say uh, that another woman is hot. Like guys can't say like, hey, that's a good looking dude, that dude is handsome. Yeah. Except once you said that about like a current employee or something, right? <laughs> like a camera oh, guy? Yeah, I, I don't know, but I would believe it. That's the kind of thing I would <laughs> yeah, say. Which which shows me that you're confident in your sexuality because you don't care about what people would think if you uh -huh. were to say, hey, that guy is attractive. It was a camera guy? Like a guy in the room was like, oh, that guy is hot? No, no, no. <laughs> it was when you were off, it, you were at Occupy Oakland and uh -huh. like there was some camera guy with you guys. Oh, And both okay. you and Steve were like, he's a good looking gentleman. Oh, okay. God yeah. bless. Okay, I don't remember that. But uh, but look, I say it all the time. Like, yeah. I mean, there's, uh, in fact, funny thing is like, I think Tom Hardy is so freaking cool. And I think it's totally okay to be like, like that guy's a stud. That guy kicks ass. Do you see what I'm saying? I once made a list of man crushes. Oh, that's right. Right? Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. But like he says here, it doesn't mean I want to make out with the dude. Right. Right? But there's, like, in fact, if you say, oh, yeah, yeah no way, man. No, no, no other guy is hot. No. Then I begin to wonder. <laughs> right? Just calm down. So he's setting a great example here. Turns out he had two uncles who were gay and who wound up dying of AIDS, which is of course tragic. Uh, but he and his family and his mom, et cetera, have been fighting uh, against the stereotypes uh, of gay people for a long time. He won GLAD's Vanguard Award mm -hmm. back in 2012. So um, I really like this one other quote that he said. He says, acting is one thing, but actually trying to change the world and the way people think to make people's lives better, that's the stuff I'm most proud of. Good for you.